And that is exactly what happened during the bombing of Pearl Harbor. We lost many good men during the surprise attack, and it caused us to depart from our neutral state in the Pacific War. We merged from the chaos that was presented to us, and took swift action against our newfound enemies. In a six months time, we had made stunning victory at the Battle of Coral Sea and demolished our enemies at the Battle of Midway with a force casualties. Our brothers in arms are looking down and are greatly pleased with the revenge we had promised. But with all revenge comes a toll, and that toll was Okinawa. It had been smooth sailing till we hit the iceberg. It was on April of 1945 when we stormed Okinawa. Objective, to take control of Okinawa and use his four airship to launch bombing raids onto the land of the rising sun. The attack was led by 300 of our warships and 180,000 marines. In the days leading up to its attack, the Americans had landed some units 32 clicks southwest of Igashi Bay to secure an anchorage. We swiftly took over the Rikyu Islands, engulfing it with our fire. We were one step closer to Japan. The attack on Okinawa, aka Operation Iceberg, began the 1st of April. Ironically, it was named L Day, standing for Love Day, for we were not greeted with any opposition. We entered the island swiftly, without troubles. We were known as the Old Breed, the very first division. Life on the field was tough. We had to often strengthen our bonds as comrades, but the stronger the trust, the easier it makes our job on the battlefield. Where are you from? From Ohio. I got family in Ohio, but I live in South Dakota. That's nice. Maybe it's Battle positions! Move, move, move! On April 6th is when things started to go wrong. Our advancement to Okinawa had been halted for two days now, and it took a man another 18 days to reach the opposing bastionate line of defense, set by the Japanese. Two clicks south of here. We got soldiers. Bastionate on Support. We're joining up with the 6th Division? They've been halted at the position for two days now. Let's go back them up. Japanese soldiers positioned to do nothing but hold us down and keep us from advancing. There are many casualties, 50,000 dead. And on April 24th of 1945, our misfortune seemed to have no mercy. 
for as we breached the defense, we had soon ran into the Shuri line. The second line of defense, placed by the Japanese to further slow down our operation. The Japanese had their mindset on a single goal, which is to slow our troops down long enough for Japan to prepare for an oncoming invasion by the U.S. Army. As we pushed across the island, the 6th Marine Division began to sweep northward to the Motobu Peninsula. U.S. forces pushed slowly forward as the war on the ground continued virtually unhampered by the air. Marine aviators flew through the Okinawan skies, maintaining air supremacy throughout the campaign, while at the same time attempting to blunt the kamikaze menace. Situation. We're pinned down. We got snipers 20 clicks down. We got men moving from the south side. After breaching the Shuri line, we encountered many ridges, including the battle at Wano Ridge, which halted our advancement for eight days. And in Kanishi Ridge, with some Japanese soldiers embedding themselves in a group of civilians to fool the U.S. forces, two women were shot and killed in the area, each carrying grenades. There are many civilians inhabiting these places, but my hand, being stained with blood, cannot turn a sorrowing eye just to the total invasion of Okinawa took 82 days. The Battle of Okinawa, being the last major battle of World War II and the largest sea land air battle in history, is a reminder to us all of how atrocious the action of waging war is. A staggering 140,000 civilians lost their lives. Suicide was a frequent occurrence. Japanese soldiers and even civilians committed suicide rather than dying at the mercy of their enemies. Intensity with which the Japanese fought back caused great casualties on both sides of the battlefield. Battle of Okinawa is overshadowed by the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, but we must never forget of the men who sacrificed their lives for the good of this country. Statistical losses, one man killed to every ten Japanese. Go, go, go! Oh, shit! I knew that was an